Hey folks, today we're going to be upgrading my ThinkPad X201 with a different drive. This is the drive that was currently in the machine. It was one of these Seagate hybrid drives, about a terabyte. And while this is a nice drive, and I like the, uh, the sort of built-in SSD cache, it's still not fast enough. It still pretty much runs like a regular hard drive. So I figure what I'll do is I'll either sell this or put it in an external enclosure, likely the latter, and uh, I'm going to put an SSD into the X201. And considering I don't use a really use a whole lot of space on this laptop because games don't really run on it with its Intel graphics, I decided to opt for a smaller SSD for cheap. This is an A Pacer SSD. I've seen Max Arcade use these in the past uh, in some of his computer builds. And so I've kept an eye out for these online, and I found one for $35 uh, plus shipping. So works for me. There you go. It's a 128 gig SSD. Should be perfect. The nice thing about A-Pacer is they make industrial SSDs. I don't know if this is MLC or SLC, an SLC SSD. I guess I could look that up. This was uh, an industrial one I bought used. So, So let's stick it in this machine. And, uh, yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clone what's on the, uh, the, uh, hybrid drive onto the A-Pacer SSD. And then, uh, we'll do a boot-up test once I've cloned everything over and resized the drives. So, let's do this. Okay, the transfer was successful, and I feel like I should explain a few things. This is how I did the transfer. This is a, a system I had that's just in a, a cute little micro ATX case here. It's one of the Gigabyte G41 e, 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 pfft, Gigabyte G41M ES2L builds. And, uh, yeah, this used to be an office machine for a uh, political office for a while. Now I'm using it to clone hard drives. <laughs> Go figure, right? Uh, so here is the one terabyte hybrid drive. Uh, connected to the other one was the A-Pacer SSD. Uh, now, some of you who've used CloneZilla before might be asking, but doesn't CloneZilla freak out if you use uh, drives that are too big? Because what I did was I transferred data from a 1 terabyte hard drive to a 128 gig SSD. Yes, it does freak out, unless you go into the expert settings, and uh, or expert mode or whatever it is. You know, they, they let you choose between beginner and expert. You go to expert, and there's a little checkbox you can check that just tells it to not even worry about uh, the size between the two drives. So what I did is on this drive in particular, I just shrunk the partition down to like 90 gigs or something uh, so that it would fit onto the 128 gig SSD. And what I'm going to do on the laptop now is just uh, grow that partition out completely. Uh, so that it fills up the entire drive. And that's that. Nothing to it, really. Uh, just simple stuff. So, there you have it. Uh, I'm going to boot up the laptop, uh, resize, re or grow the partition so that it uses up all the space on the SSD, and bada bing, bada boom. I'll show you, some, I'll show you uh, how fast it boots as well once I'm done all that stuff. All right, the SSD has been installed. I've uh, grown the partition, and everything's uh, fit, fit and finish. So I'm going to show you how fast this thing boots up. There's the BIOS screen there. And here we go booting. Okay, I put my password in. Watch how fast this goes to the desktop. Wow, it usually goes faster than that. I actually had it going like instantly after I hit the button a few times. But everything is there. Everything's booted up. All the icons are in the tray, like pretty much immediately. So that is pretty awesome. So overall... That a these A-Pacer SSDs are pretty nice. I like these a lot. 
Should improve the battery life on this X201 uh, ThinkPad. And uh, also means I can bang it around. Also means I can bang the laptop around. Not worry about my data, which is really nice. Uh, so, yeah, pretty happy with this upgrade. I didn't expect to be doing another SSD upgrade so soon, but I happened to see this on eBay for $35. 128 gigabyte A Pacer SSD used for $35. That is pretty sweet, especially for an industrial grade SSD like these are. Uh, so I jumped on that, and that, that's an excellent upgrade for this laptop. Pretty cool stuff. Uh, a bit of an unexpected upgrade, but, you know, there you have it. The other thing I'd like to add about this laptop is I don't run Linux on it anymore because uh, the networks I connect to when I take this laptop out tend to need Windows when they uh, for exchange. Um, I think there are ways on Linux to get that to work, but it's really convoluted and annoying, so I just choose to use Windows. So this laptop is running Windows only on this 128 gig SSD. It's just a lot easier that way. Uh, I have other computers I can use for Linux in the meantime. Well, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and have a good one, everybody. Ciao. Shutting down still takes a while. Oh, there it goes.